Welcome to Coder Log. In this video, I will create a pixel perfect user interface in Android Studio. And I will also tell you that what is the importance of pixel perfect design in Android Studio and what is basically a pixel perfect design. So let's start the video. The output of the video. In the output, you will see three different emulator with having different screen density and screen size but you will see that the design in the three different emulator is exactly the same and this is because I am using pixel perfect design here and how I implement it I implement it through coding so coding is the one of the solution for pixel perfect design there are so many solution for that but I am using coding okay so what is pixel perfect design basically it is basically a pixel wise exact design of a designer design a designer which design is given by a designer you have to implement exactly same design you uh, with the help of pixels so that design is basically a pixel perfect design and in the pixel perfect design you have to uh, take care of every single detail that a designer have given you and that's why you have to care about that the in the design there will be no image noise there will be no uh, blurness and there will be no distortion and aberration so you have to avoid these things so for that purpose you have to care about the number of pixels you have to set a proper and appropriate value for pixel number uh, pixel number of pixel of a ui element for a different screen size well if you if your screen size is larger so you you have to use a larger number of pixel and when the screen size is smaller so then you have to uh, use a smaller value of pixel for your element and in this way you can manage the pixel of a UI element and, and in this way you can achieve a pixel perfect design and why it is so important to use a pixel perfect design it is important because in nowadays Android have a lot of Android screen sizes and screen density and when you design for a one particular screen size so it will be working appropriately on that screen size but when you switch to another screen size so your design will will not uh, show the exact thing you designed for so when you switch so the design will look bad and it will look something else so designer will be angry and why it is so important to use pixel perfect design it is important because nowadays android have a lot of screen sizes and screen density and when you design for a one particular screen size so it will be working appropriately on that screen size but when you switch to another screen size so your design will show something else and this is a poor user experience and a designer will be angry because you will not uh, build a thing which designer have delivered to you so this is the main problem and that's why we use a pixel perfect to make our designer look similar on all different screen sizes and screen density so the goal of the pixel perfect is to show the similar design on all different screen sizes and screen density and also improve the look of the uh, design on the android device so this is basically the advantage of pixel perfect design okay so in pixel perfect design you must care about two things that is screen size and screen density well i am assuming that you will know what is screen size of android and screen density of android i i assumed that you already know that okay so let's start so why it is important to care about uh, screen sizes well uh, the number of pixel of ui element 
is directly dependent on the size of the screen if the size of the screen is larger so your ui element will also be larger with higher pixel with higher number of pixel and if your uh, uh, screen size is smaller so you must set the uh, ui element size also smaller and with less number of pixel so that's why the size you must care about size which size you have to scale the ui element as larger as smaller with with the screen size directly it is directly proportional to screen size the ui element size is directly proportional to screen size android screen size so that's why you have to care about the android screen size and why it is important to care about the screen density well if you care about the screen density your image will not be blur you will uh, design for different densities because the every uh, android have their own different densities and densities is responsible for the look of the ui element uh, if the density if you do not care about density so your image may be blur on some uh, android device so the blurness is not good thing so it is also a bad user experience to avoid this problem you have to work on different screen density okay so that's why you have to care about two things that is as android screen size and android screen density okay so now let's uh, go to a practical example in the practical example you have already seen my output that there are three different emulator with a design so how i create a pixel perfect design well you have to remember one one pro tip of mine that is you have to always divide your design into parts by dividing your design into parts will help you to easily understand the design and it also reduce the complexity of design there are different ways that you can divide your design and that is number one is that you can uh, divide a pixel of the ui element into a dp value dp dp is basically density independent pixel okay and you can uh, convert the font size to sp sp is a scale independent pixel so this is the android standard units so you can convert directly pixel to a android standard standard units and the other way is that you can divide the ui element as a percentage of the screen and in the practical example i have divided the design in the percentage of the screen because it is easier for me so the whole design is divided as a percentage of screen mean that every screen will have different size so i am not dependent on a particular screen size it will be dynamic it will be for all screen size so basically i will uh, set a specific value for every ui element that it will occupy that much of a screen size
so this is the width wise now I will talk on the height wise so in the height wise image is occupying 65 percentage and button a button and text view is occupying 10 percent and there is spacing the spacing of the height wise is one percent of the screen size between every UI element between every UI element it have one percent of spacing with other UI element so total uh, spacing is five percent in the height wise so this is basically a percentage of the design for every UI element okay so in this way I divide my design now let's talk about coding that how I implement a code to make a design as a pixel perfect in the coding you are seeing here some values there are some values these values is basically a percentage of the UI element on the screen size so uh, let's talk about the image image has 90% of the uh, screen size on width wise and 65% on the height wise so these are basically that value which is used for UI element then when the app runs so it will call this function make pixel perfect and in the pixel uh, make pixel uh, perfect there are two another function that is get screen width and get screen height this is basically giving me the number of pixel on width wise and number of pixel on the height wise so it will take it a runtime uh, the value this value will be changing with the screen size so it is dynamic okay so then i will calculate a uh, height and width dynamic height and width uh, of the ui element as you are seeing here here i am calculating the height and width for image the first ui element okay so how i will uh, measure the height and width i will multiply the number of pixel width wise with the percentage of uh, that image on width wise and percentage of that image on height wise so it will give me appropriate value for height and uh, width of a image okay similarly i will calculate for button x view so basically here i am applying all the values which i have already calculated okay and in this way it will simply give me a pixel perfect design for different screen sizes this is uh, about a screen size okay so screen sizing is done here but what about the screen density how i will handle a screen density so for screen density i will recommend you a plugin that is a the plugin is android drivable importer okay you have to install that plugin and how you will install that plugin you will click on the android studio click on the preference then it will open this window uh, window then click on the plugin then click here is a uh, android drivable so i have already installed it so how you will install it you will click on the browse uh, repositories so when you click on browse repositories so there you can download any type of plugin for yourself so i have downloaded the android drivable importer and when i download it so it ask it uh, ask me for restart then i restart so it is working appropriately okay so how it is working you are seeing here there is a image one and it have and this image is in different densities so i will click on it let's uh, delete it and i will tell you that how this plugin works click on the drivable left click on the drivable then go here click on the batch drivable import this will help you to automatically create a different density for an image okay density you have to care about image densities okay 
use vector or uh, use this plugin this plugin will help you to create automatically different density and this is a pick one and I click on the open so this is creating me a different densities automatically or different in a different resolution so click OK click OK so it is creating me and now the image one is created in a different resolution for different densities and in this way you can handle uh, screen densities and taking care of screen size and taking care of screen density you can achieve pixel perfect design so that's it for this video thank you for watching my video and subscribe if you like my video and see you in the next video and also you can tell me that which type of video you want from me so you can tell me in the comment box thank you so much